Hello, Double Talk 73 here again. This is our Blues with Barber, Bob, Blues with Bobbers, Part 2. And uh, if you watch Part 1, you saw we was on the, had to rent a boat, or had to, if you bought a boat, you had to go out to the loading dock. If you don't want to spend a four, if you haven't bought one, you don't want to spend the $4,000 to rent a kayak for the day. If you'll come over here to Dust Till Dawn, show you what we're using for uh, our, our rig same thing make sure that camera shut off oh it did okay uh, we're going to use our Brutus 9 foot 10 35 pound thunder spin 4500 35 pound 022 fluoro 35 pound our glowing pear shaped float it's easier to see out there in the dark uh, 7 on hook and large cut bait and a default leader, 98 inch. Before the last update, they were 99. I don't know why, but now they're 98. Whatever. Okay. So that's that's what we're going to be using. We'll go here to dust it on. And again, we want to fish night peaks because fish, the catfish are predatory. Uh, predatory creatures come out more at night. So we want to, this is what I just finished in part one, it's where we were fishing. So what we're going to do now, we're going to fish part two, this nine to 11 peak over here, okay? So let's go fishing. And where we want to go, we're going to run along the shore here. And you can do this daytime, nighttime. See this rock? We're going to just pass that rock. See that bunch of grass sticking out there? Go down there. Now, there's my marker out there. And if you look, this to me kind of looks like an old Viking's helmet. See the horns sticking up here? Horns sticking up there. So if you come out from that, that grass I told you about, little grass sticking out there past that rock and cast towards this this side okay we're bobber fishing that's where our marker is I'm sorry we want to cast towards this side of the horn and drift across now here we want to be 111 feet out that's the number so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use a coin if you just come in the first time you won't have to we're going to go to 9 o'clock. That was our peak. Sell that fish we just, I just caught. Okay. 111 feet. Right. With that yellow bobber, that's just about max that it'll do. See what I mean? Same thing here. You should, sometimes you'll catch three, sometimes you'll catch one. You should average two unis per night and I like to let that one drift to about right in here somewhere along in here and then I reset we got a clear night 44 degrees Fahrenheit water temperature 41 a little breeze 2 mile per hour and if you got a boat you can do better at this location come up here come on the land and catch you a fish so that you know where it's at and then come by boat and cast towards the land and fish at, at your marker you don't have to reel them as far I usually fish between 35 40 feet away from them and uh, same deal we let bobber gets nervous before you set the hook but if you don't, you're going to be losing fish. Now, here's the, here's the thing about fishing 111 feet out. It takes a long time to get it in. To get them in, it just takes time. And reeling time takes away from fishing time. But you got to do what you got to do. If you don't have the money to come the boat, you can fish from the land. Now you 
you use an orange and black and yellow bobber and you can get it out there it'll cast further but it's harder to see out there I like to be able to see see if you don't have that light on you still see it but that orange and black I call it the German bobber orange and black and yellow it'll cast out there about 135 140 feet when I'm bobber fishing for regular muskie that's the bobber I put on if I'm going to be fishing from the land that's what you got to have to get over there running lily pads where they're at but here again learn a little bit pass it on that's the fisherman's way if you like my videos please subscribe click on that bell so if I put when I put up a, another video you get notified leave me a comment whether you like it don't like it hate it want to see more of the same thing let me know what you're thinking if there's something you want me to try to catch or show you how to catch let me know I'll do the best that I can but that's what I like to do I like to help that's why there's no ads on my videos on this channel. This is just for fishing, tips, pointers, how, when, where, and what. I know KP Shimano knows all the same spots. You just have to get through all those commercials. That's, that's, that's his thing. He's gonna make that extra money to me it's that's not what I want to do not with this channel maybe my other one eventually I don't know we'll figure that out when the time comes this one I just want to have fun fish and help y'all catch more and bigger fish better action here from the land, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, best laid plans, the mice and men. Get the rod up a little higher. Push my mouse forward, get that rod up near. You have to fight that fish a little better. It's a little bit bigger. Sometimes it works a little better. <laughs> yeah, bigger fish. Alrighty, they all count. They all count. Don't be snickering at me. Please. My buddy Venomous Jack just started playing. I ain't fished with Jack in a long time. He's been playing that pro fisherman out in the ocean. To each his own. You gotta tell me if I wanted to get a bunch of followers on here that I'll learn how to play Super Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> oh, I haven't played Mario Brothers in true lordy. See, Brett's 22 years old, Kelly's 35. Probably 25 years or so. But if it's fun, I'll give it a shot. There we go, 70 pound uni. Now see, if you mark that, you know where to start your cast. And the way you mark it, hit that M, M key. Set that over there. And if you want to set the next mark, which I don't want to, then up pops a mark. Mark will come up, let's see here. Looking like this. 
and if you reach up there at that mark and hit your left mouse button and then do a back you can annotate let's see night peak one 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 feet out okay and then hit the check there you go and next time if you come over here and find that mark see there you know it's a night peak put your cursor in there run across and you can read all that information so if you share that mark with, with anybody they'll get the information they need too see there's that marker there okay we're going to take that one off yeah I ain't going to worry about it right now that gives us something to aim at that's not going to be 111 I don't believe I did dead on it cool Seventy pounds, pretty nice uni. Not big, not huge, but it's nice. Here again. Down rods, a lot more action, a lot more fish. Not necessarily bigger fish, just a lot more fish. You get four times as many hooks in the water and bait. You're almost like you're chumming for yourself. But we got our uni sooner. It was smaller, but it, we got it. We got it sooner. It came. Ooh, what about 925 I guess so if they s spawn every hour we definitely got enough time to get another one tried the competition day the salmon clash the only points you get are for trophy or uni of all the salmon up in Alaska I caught six sockeye salmon they were six points beat 36 points I finished 53rd out of 76 it finished wasn't a wasn't first wasn't the worst I just wasn't my day Sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you, so they say. But there are, there are people on here that specialize in different competitions. And they just practice and practice and practice and practice until they get it down cold. Not that important to me. I'll give them a try every once in a while. One thing you're not going to catch over here, at least I never have yet. Not going to say I won't sooner or later, but you're not catching sturgeon over here. So your keeper is not going to be your, your total catch, is not going to be worth as much as it would be off the dock. We're talking about maybe a thousand dollars or so is the only difference. But with the same amount of fish. sent me a 
message on uh, Steam Chat. I'll have to read it later. We're only allowed to have a hundred friends on here, and I hadn't fished with him in a long time. And somebody, a new guy, wanted to be my friend, so I unfriended him, and that might have hurt his feelings. I hope not. But the only way I could share markers with that other guy that wanted to be a friend, a new friend, that I had to clear up a space. I haven't tried duck muscle meat over here. Should work just as good. Maybe not quite as good, but if you can't afford large cut there again, you can use duck muscle meat. I'm getting sleepy. And it's only, whew, lordy. It's only 10.30 here. Oh, that ain't going to be long enough, for sure. Advanced lousy analysis. I signed up to fish. Well, thank you. I signed up to fish in the Lucky Spot event, but... I was fishing with somebody and we were having fun. I didn't need to worry about it. There'll be another. Or there won't. One way or the other. No skin off my nose. Money and run. Thank you. I guess I should have asked for it sooner, shouldn't I? <laughs> drift out there a little bit because the current runs that way kind of I'm gonna lean back and rest a little bit if you don't mind excuse me excuse me excuse me not bored just a little sleepy. Seems like the older I get, the more sleep I need, the less I get. My wife told me years and years ago that I need to sleep more. At a business that I, I learned to get by, I was on the road a lot in a scrap business, and uh, I just learned how to get by on right around four hours 
four to five hours sleep a night. She said, you need to get more sleep. I said, darling, when I'm dead, I'll sleep a long time. Ain't nobody gonna make this money if I don't get it made. So I probably shortened my lifespan, but I've had a pretty good life. Good family. I've had several good jobs. <laughs> they weren't that good, I wouldn't have left them with <laughs> That's okay. A bit smaller, but it's money. Money and XP. Yep. Got to think about what you're doing there. Something sound like a boat whistle. A boat horn. Hoo, hoo. Way back in the distance. I'll tell you something funny. When I learned how to get outside the game in a bass boat, you out there at night, they know there's no light in the lighthouse. So kind of what good is it? <laughs> He's just sitting there on the on the point. They got no light in it at night. So that's just uh, something you can hit in the dark if you got a big boat. But you sure ain't going to see it in the dark. That's why you see them big boats with them bright, bright lights scanning the horizon. Just back and forth, back and forth. So they don't hit things like that in the dark. Man, when you're out on the water at night, man, it's dark. I mean, it's really dark. You can see somebody light a cigarette from a mile away. Out there in a boat, man, it's, I'm telling you, it's dark. <laughs> you can't, you can't tie a hook in the dark. I'll tell you that, you can't thread the eye. Thread the fishing line through the eye. Bring you a flashlight. There might be another trophy. Might be another trophy. It doesn't want to come in too easily. Okay, there we go. There's our second uni. That's a good one to stop on. Okay, we caught that one at 10.25, 10.20. So there is an hour spawn time over here. So if you catch your first one right off the bat between 9 and 9.15, you could fish a little after that 11 o'clock and maybe catch that third uni. Okay? That's a nice big fish. Let me show you what that looks like. That's a big old fish. I'll take a picture now. Okay. Alrighty. So, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, that would be... Uh, probably a new personal best for just just about anybody fishing with bobbers so thanks again for watching uh, if you like my videos please subscribe appreciate you uh, good luck tight lines god bless you and your family and uh, leave me a comment tell me what you like what you don't like and uh, i'll see you out here again some other time so y'all come back now you hear